Hi boys and girls. Hey, this is Moses. You probably remember me from last week when I was a little baby last week. I'm 40 years old now. You remember last week whenever Pharaoh's daughter found me in the river in a basket where she took me home and adopted me and raised me as her own son and I was a prince of Egypt and I had everything going for me. I had the finest schooling and education and the wisdom of the Egyptians and the best food and and Pharaoh was my grandpa and I had everything going for me but then I remembered that I was a Hebrew and not an Egyptian and then the I remember the Egyptians were slave masters of my Hebrew brothers and so I, one day I went out to check on them and I found this one Egyptian that was beating up one of my Hebrew brothers and I tried to stop him and I don't know what happened but things got out of hand and the Egyptian died and then when Pharaoh my grandpa found out about it he was so mad he wanted to kill me and so now he's looking for me and I'm on the run I don't know where I'm going to go I think I hear them coming I, I gotta go I gotta run oh by the way if you see some angry Egyptians coming this way don't tell them that you saw me, okay? All right, I gotta run. And ran, Moses did. He ran as far as he could to hide from Pharaoh. In fact, he ran all the way across a desert and came to the land of Midian. And he ran across seven daughters who were tending sheep for their father Jethro. And some other shepherds came along and drove them away from a well of water. But Moses saw this and he came to their rescue and he helped water the seven daughters sheep. And then he went home with them to meet their father and he stayed with them a while. And then finally, Moses married one of the seven daughters, Zipporah. And they had a happy life together. It was very different than the one that he had had in Egypt. But then one day, 40 years later, Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro. He led his flock to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the Lord appeared in a flame of fire out of a bush. Moses looked. He saw the bush was burning, but the bush was not burning up. And God called, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, do not come near. Take your sandals off. This is holy ground. Look, here is a picture of Moses in the burning bush. You see the bush and it's on fire but it's not burning up. And you see Moses has removed his sandals off of his feet and God is talking to him through the bush. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, do not come near, take your sandals off, this is holy ground. And he said, I am God. Moses was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have seen my people in Egypt. I know their sufferings. I will send you to bring my people out of Egypt. But Moses said, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And who am I that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? And God said, But I will be with you. Then Moses answered, But they will not believe me. And the Lord said, What is that in your hand? Moses said, A staff. God said, Throw it on the ground. So Moses threw it. It became a serpent. Then Moses put out his hand and it became a staff. Again the Lord said, put your hand inside your cloak. When Moses did, his hand 
was white like snow with leprosy. Then God said, put your hand back inside your cloak. When Moses took it out, it was like the rest of his flesh, all well. But Moses said, O oh my Lord, I am slow of speech. Then the Lord said, Aaron, your brother, can speak for you. I will teach you both what to do. He will speak for you, and you will take your staff. You will do signs with it. Moses went back to his father-in-law, Jethro, and he said to him, Please let me go back to my brothers in Egypt. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. And so Moses took his wife and his two sons, and he went back to Egypt. Thank you for letting me read to you another Bible story this week. Remember that God loves you so much. And I'll see you next week.